It's the next year on podtech.net. I'm Matt Kelly. We're here again at the New York International Auto Show at the Jacob Javits Center, and I'm joined once again by Alex Fedorak. He is director of Kia Public Relations. We're standing in front of another beautiful concept car, the Kia Soul. Alex, congratulations. You've done it once again. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, this is a great car, and what you're looking at is a glimpse of Kia's future. And we saw it uh, on the queue. Here it is on the Soul. Introduce us once again to this beautiful car. Well, first we showed this car at the 2006 uh, Detroit Auto Show, and in this past Detroit Auto Show, uh, we made the announcement that this vehicle is going to go into production. So it's a compact uh, utility vehicle. It's between the Rio and Spectra in size. It's uh, ba based on the Rio platform, but highly modified. And uh, it's got a look that we're pretty excited about. And it's not just a concept vehicle. You have said it is a production vehicle. When can we expect to see this in a showroom near us? Yeah, pretty soon. Uh, we're going to go into production in 2008. It's going to be a 2009 vehicle. So we're pretty excited about it. And will it be in the uh, design style that we are viewing it now? Or are there going to be some modifications to it? Yeah, we're going to have to do some modifications. But the silhouette, what you're looking at is what you're going to get. Of course, the doors aren't going to open like we're showing you right here. Darn, I love the suicide doors. I think that's one of the things that makes it stand out. Yeah, me too. It's really cool. But, you know, it, it just wouldn't work from a crash standpoint. And we're all about safety. So when we build something that's going to be as radical looking at this, it's going to be really safe at the same time. Mm -hmm. When we uh, take a look at the vehicle, introduce us to it from uh, the front fascia. Bring us all the way back as we move into the passenger compartment. Great. Sure. I'll be happy to. Uh, you're looking at a vehicle with a two-liter four-cylinder engine. Uh, we're going to have two different four-cylinder engine configurations. We're not going to talk about that uh, right now. Mm -hmm. It's too, a little bit too early to talk about that. But it's, it's front-wheel drive. We're showing it to you with 20-inch tires. Probably going to have 18-inch tires when all is said and done. Five-passenger configuration, uh, a really aggressive profile. Uh, we painted it uh, since the last time you saw this in its white color, and it kind of reminds us of a Star Wars uh, Stormtrooper. So. It really does look that, like that now that you talk about that. As we move along and we take a look at the interior of the vehicle, seating for four very comfortably and individually, which I like. Yeah, it's, it's, the seating configuration is pretty slick. And, and like we did on the queue, we've done some really interesting stuff in the interior here. Um, it's all BlackBerry compatible, MP3, iPod, the whole nine yards. It's really about mobile-tainment today. Yeah, it really is. And, you know, it, it, our demographic that's going to be interested in this thing. I mean, the guys are all dialed into it. The kids are all dialed into this, uh, those type of features. So we feel it's important that the vehicle interface with them, you know, the same way. We have a shelf above the glove box that pulls out for a laptop. Uh, it swings all the way around so uh, you could, you could uh, have your laptop accessed uh, from the driver's seat. Of course, we'd want you to be pulled off to the side of the road when you do that. <laughs> now, as we go to the rear of the vehicle, it's got quite a prominent rear stance with these very prominent taillights. Yeah, I think the taillights will make it into production. Unfortunately, this hatch, the way it's configured, is not going to make it into production, but we'll be able to maintain the same line. Uh, this is actually a storage uh, compartment for wet gear. Uh, keep in mind that we expect people are going to have an active lifestyle that will be attracted to a vehicle uh, like this. So uh, it's a fun car. It's a functional car. And uh, it's uh, something that we think uh, is going to do a lot for Kia. And it certainly is, is the new look for Kia. Two wonderful concept vehicles, the Kia Q, now the Kia Soul. Talk about the evolution of the brand, where it's been, where it's at now, and where it's going. Yeah, the brand's come a long way in a short period of time. You know, we only started selling cars in 1994 in the United States, and we sold 12,000 back then. Last year, we sold almost 300,000 units, and this past uh, quarter, sales are up 13.5% from the previous quarter. So it's record year after record year. And what we've done is, first, we had to prove ourselves to the industry and say, okay, it's a reliable car. So we have the 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty to back up to it. Uh, now, you know, as we did, uh, we, we talked about earlier with, with the Q, Peter Schreier has joined the team from Audi, and he's starting to design cars from us. He didn't design the Soul. That was designed by our American team here in, in Southern California. But he's got some pretty cool stuff that he's been doing. Uh, he introduced the, uh, the X-Seed and the Seed. Uh, just most recently over in Europe, and that's uh, got Schreier's uh, penmanship on it. And uh, we have a surprise for the LA Auto Show that Ooh. I think you'll like um, that uh, will follow up on my promise last time we talked about the Q hinting at Kia's future. Wonderful. We will eagerly uh, await the arrival of that at the LA Auto Show towards the end of this year. Congratulations once again on a tremendous concept, now a production vehicle for Kia. We'll look forward to its debut at a showroom soon near us. For the next year, I'm Matt Kelly on podtech.net.